Hey everyone, Joel Anst here, and today we are outside Queen Street Fair. Yes, Queen Street Fair in Ottawa, Ontario. Been a long time since I've been in Ottawa, so it's good to be back. Today we're going to be eating and trying Hanley's Nashville Hot Chicken. Yes, Hanley's Nashville Hot Chicken. So this is their one in-person location. Otherwise, they have a number of locations across Quebec, Ontario, um, all as ghost kitchens. So today we're going to be having a very spicy, yes, very, very, very spicy, in their own words, stupid spicy Nashville Hot Chicken Challenge. So it's going to be eating three of the hottest chicken sandwiches. We're gonna have their hot, we have their clucking hot, and their stupid hot. So the uh, sandwiches look delicious. I've heard really great things. It's really uh, hard to get real good natural hot chicken here in Canada, but I've heard this is fantastic. So let's head in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food. Um, but that's about it, guys. So uh, if we complete the challenge, we are gonna get it for free. I know the details of it. We're gonna have 10 minutes, just, just 10 minutes. I can't, I only have one hand. 10 minutes to eat the three chicken sandwiches, again, of the heat levels, no liquids are allowed, and then there's gonna be a five minute after bro, that one's actually accurate. So anyway, let's head on and set for these food. Uh, Valued meal, I think about 30 bucks before we complete it. And uh, so yeah, Hanley's, let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here we are with these sandwiches. So I am super excited because these look absolutely delicious, guys. And what I really, really like is it's really hard to find authentic Nashville hot chicken in Canada. And this is done true to the Nashville style. So basically, this is what they are calling their death by chicken challenge here. So of course, on all the sandwiches, we have them uh, with the chicken, of course, which is dredged in the hot oil. Then you have that lovely shake, again, that true to Nashville uh, hot shake on there. We have the hot, we have the cluckin' hot, and we have the stupid hot. So the cluckin' hot and the stupid hot are made, yes, they are freaking made with ghost peppers and Carolina Reapers, both of them. So they said it is definitely, definitely hot. Really, most individuals who tried the stupid hot, like just have to end up walking it off. So I don't know, this is gonna be interesting, but I'm definitely excited because it looks really, really good. They smell fantastic. They have the comeback sauce on all of them, not to mention their uh, house-made coleslaw. We also have some lovely bread and butter pickles, all on a buttered bun. Again, I will say when it comes to beautiful sandwiches, these look fantastic. I'm just like, it looks so good, but it's probably gonna hurt so bad. But anyway, yeah guys, so this is gonna be a hell of a challenge. Um, the overall approximate uh, value of the meal is about 30 bucks, but it looks like a lot of fun, should be really good. Again, this is the one kind of in-person location, otherwise they operate um, as a ghost kitchen, so check out Uber Eats, you can definitely order um, all the delicious looking chicken sandwiches, and they have other items which I don't know, if I'm not dying after, maybe I'll give it a shot. I know they like chicken and waffles and uh, all kinds of really delicious sounding items. So with that, pretty much, let's get started here just momentarily. Wish me luck. I don't really want to die in Ottawa, but nonetheless, it could be worse. So let's get started here. I, I, I'm excited, but I'm not. But we'll get started here just momentarily. Very delicious looking, but I'm definitely scared. I'm doing this for you guys. You guys freaking want spicy stuff. It always kills me, but here we are. Of course, I got the gloves. This is some serious action on these two, especially this one, guys. There's so many freaking, uh, I just see the chilies in it. It looks, looks ghostly. I guess that's fair to say. All right, so 10 minutes though. I'm ready. We're ready, mister? We're ready. All right, guys, so how do we get started? We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. That chicken and those sauces? Amazing. I just want some heat though. These are gonna be really bad. Mm. Oh yeah, the heat is building. Maybe it's crunch though. I'm really surprised. I mean, it's natural hot, that's why they make it in the oil, but. Whew. All right, I'm probably not gonna be able to talk much more about the food, so let's get going, but this is very delicious. Here we go. Hard food. Mm. 
Great pickles are though. Alright. I'm about two minutes in. He's definitely building, he's definitely lingering. Woo! But that's why this is what I'm scared about. You guys see the look at those bit of chilies on that. Alright, here you go guys. Stupid hot. Whew. Whew. This is what I'm biting. Definitely packed the punch. The, I will say though, what I'm really surprised with, probably the most, I'm gonna take this off. I can maybe rub my face. The biggest thing with that, because I've had some really hot Nashville hot chickens before, that one, the. That one, the flavor was still really, really good on it, despite it being so spicy. Because like I find like Reapers and stuff just taste nasty. But that one was very, very flavorful still. <sighs> oh man, I just, I, the thing is, I'm feeling it really down here in my gut as well. And that's what I'm a little worried for. I'd rather, I got a five hour drive after this. I don't really want to myself on the way home. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. I was say, I'll also say that. They have the, uh, with that new Toronto location, the Toronto location. I'm definitely gonna hit them up. Because that was a really, really good tasting sandwich. This one's pretty dang hot though, guys. Very, very hot. Uh, I don't really like these afterburns. Because normally I can just drink some water or some liquid after and I feel a bit better, but. Uh, got like, uh, I don't know, maybe like three minutes left. <sighs> Very good chicken sandwich though. I am, uh, I do want to try the, uh, I do want to try the chicken waffles. I got to try chicken waffles after this. I think that'd be good. 100%. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll do the, uh, well, I don't know what I'll do. I'll figure it out. Let me see how, let me see the next couple minutes go and let's see how this freaking heat level uh, tries out. All right. About two, about two minutes. The late, yeah. So 
the heat's definitely moved a bit from more from like where it really is around my mouth and then the here. Let's move a bit more to my gut. It's a very warm, very warm gut. Ooh, that was a spicy burp. But I will say. All right, we're coming in. Ooh. Yeah, that heat's getting like, moved it a little more from here to like here. But uh, flavorful though. Very flavorful. That chicken sandwich is freaking good. That was definitely one of like, that is that is a very, very good Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Actually that arguably may be the best one I've ever had. All right, I think we are one more minute. Uh, 220 left? Oh my gosh. Never mind, I guess I'm wrong. We had a, uh, did we start from the five minutes? Or did we just start restart at five minutes? Or was I, I was wrong? No, so you finished them all in under four minutes. Yeah, okay. And then, okay, yeah, yeah. then we started the five minutes there. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I got, you got one minute four, yeah, okay, perfect. Thank you. Ooh. What flavor on do you want on the tender for the chicken waffle? Oh. You want the mild and just enjoy a piece of chicken? <laughs> Let's uh medium. Let's uh let me think let me think about that for the next 40 seconds yeah. as I contemplate my life decisions. Because I'm not gonna lie guys, like I said, you went the the, the stupid hot and the clucking hot. The flavor profile is just there so much and I really like a heat. I think it'd be more like if I have maybe liquids with it wouldn't be as bad, but that was that was very good. Like I said, the flavor the flavor profiles on all those was absolutely fantastic. So all right, but I think our five minutes is up, so. I feel better, a bit better. Like I said, the, the heat was super strong here. It's, di it's died a little bit. It's moved here a little bit more, but let's, uh... Hand these. I'm very impressed. It was a very, very good chicken sandwich. Like I said, I do want to try the other items, so let me go grab, uh, I don't know. I gotta try chicken and waffles. I'm a big fan of chicken and waffles, guys. Ode to the South, Ode to Nashville Hot. But like I said, guys, really, very really enjoyable. So let's grab those other items and give them a shot. Whew. I don't know. Maybe I'll try the spicy one again. Like I said, the flavor was there. The flavor was there. Just to eat it quickly was a lot. It was like a lot, a lot. But you know, like I said, definitely would enjoy it, guys. Check them out on uh, you know Uber Eats, all the other uh, apps there. Uh, but yeah, let's grab some more food. We'll be back here just momentarily. I did get one of the orders of the chicken and waffles. I also got some french fries with it. And they figured, they said, I didn't die enough on the last one. So one of these tenders, they decked out. And if you ask me, it literally looks like, well, it looks delicious, but it looks really scary. It is just so caked and coated in their stupid hot. Yes, I went with the stupid hot again because I love heat. And I'm so impressed with the flavor profile of the heat they have here. So these are chicken uh, tender versus uh, the, the breast that we had on the sandwich. And of course we have a lovely waffle. Uh, so I'm just gonna give this a try. I also got some more of their pickles. I do love their uh, little pickles they had there. Shell pickles. Mm. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna glove up again though. And they've guaranteed that this is going to kill me. In the best way possible. So. I will be trying this, and I hope, I, well, I know it's going to taste great, but I also want to capture this a little bit on the Instagram. Let's give it a go. Hi, everyone. So Hanley's Nashville Hot Chicken. I'm about to die. I'm going to, well, here, this is this is the, 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 the stupid hot tender. I have a chicken and waffles here. Mm. Ooh. Okay. They kicked these ones up for me, and that is hot. That is hot, hot, hot. That is flavorful. So yeah, I am definitely approved. Definitely grab, you can check them out at Uber Eats. They also have a, a location, a lovely location here at the Queen Street Fair in Ottawa. All right, that was good. It is very hot. I'm definitely feeling that, like I said, the stupid hot is stupid hot. We're gonna grab us some of that waffle action. Mm. 
We got a sweet fluffy waffle. Stupid hot building chicken. Very good. Deadly hot. I'll throw a pickle for safety. Mm. I do have a nice big thing of syrup here as well. We will try the trifecta bite. Woo! Oh man. Woo! That is hot. Hot damn it. Alright, let's try this again. This is the really, really hot one, guys. I'm gonna take this waffle, get a little bit of that syrup dip action going on. Take a bite. And now we're in for the ride. Oh man, woo, woo, ah damn, woo, that is hot, it still tastes good but, whoa boy, woo, well, I feel that one burning, that's for sure, man, woo, look at this, sludge that one up, woo, Oh man, ooh, just because you guys like to see me die, I'll finish this one, but. Ooh, okay, whoa, didn't expect that. Ooh. All right, very delicious, guys. Hamlet's natural hot. It's good for a try, too. Do you have the work, ma'am? Like I said, Oh, that is hot. Definitely check about the lime. Neutral location. Woo! 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 Oh, man. Woo! Tastes really good with the Coke as well. Oh boy, Whew. definitely Joel approved guys. So till next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, I'm happy, I'm happy eating. Ah, until next time, have a lovely day. Whew. And so while I am in Ottawa, uh, and I'm downtown and super duper duper close. Uh, hold on, Google. We are so close to like the uh, the House of Commons and the main Parliament building here in Canada. Um, so I might as well. Ottawa, if you're not familiar, is the um, like capital of Canada. So we will be turning up this street. And when I say we are downtown and super close to this place, like. It's literally right there. We are like a minute away without this light. Um, so yeah, we will look at the Parliament building, show you the House of Commons. I will not go in them today, I don't believe. Um, I have been in them before. It's pretty interesting. I mean, it's kind of like a, a lot of other, you know, political capital buildings, um, you know, government buildings, I guess you could say in regards of the looks, you know, lots of seating. Um, but yeah, this is where all of the big decisions of our Canadian government usually take place. So we are literally right up here. Look at the, the, the food hall is literally right there. And look straight ahead, straight ahead. Oh look, coffees are one dollar at McDonald's. Maybe I'll have to hit that up. Um, <laughs> right ahead here, we have what is, look at that, just look at it. Here we got our Parliament building, which is actually, this is actually really beautiful right now um, with the kind of the sun setting behind it. That's gorgeous. Let me see if I can make that a little bright for us. But yeah, just look at that. Just look at it, guys. Gorgeous. Yeah, obviously, this is huge if you can't tell. Like, huge, huge building. Um, I believe that is technically the House of Commons, if I'm not mistaken. That building, um, and then there's some other building there. One of them I think is technically considered the House of Commons, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna figure, have to figure that one out. Hey you guys, you're testing my uh, Canadian history right here. But anyway, yeah, some very gorgeous, 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 huge buildings. And yeah, pretty cool. So I wanted definitely one of the main sites here in Ottawa um, to be seen. So I'm glad I'm able to at least see it a little before the sun sets. We just had the time change go on, so you know it's a little uh, getting a little dark, a little early, but very gorgeous, very pretty, and uh, yeah, it's so pretty cool. Glad we're able to showcase that off to you guys a little bit. But yeah, that's a mainstay. That's a definitely thing Ottawa is known for. Um, also, the uh, Rideau Canal is a big canal that Ottawa is known for, and. Uh, Right up here and that way is Gatineau, Gatineau, Quebec. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we'll actually drive right by the kind of like bridge to it. If I'm, I think it's literally right up here, um, which is like Quebec and Ottawa are like that close, uh, but away from each other, that, you know, that close in general. So um, here we have the, I don't even know what building that is there, but another giant building which looks very similar to the Congress buildings. So you see they got the green rooftops or what used to be um, copper. Copper rooftops and they oxidized to green. Uh, also if you're not familiar with the Statue of Liberty who is all green, she wasn't originally all green, she was originally copper, like yellowy. So fun fact, you know, uh, but yeah, uh, well, unless they call this the Boulevard of Confederation. Anyway, pretty good stuff. Uh, it's up here somewhere, which is the Gatineau, uh, whatever, Quebec crossing. And the Supreme Court. Oh, that is the Supreme Court. Supreme Court, guys, look at that. Supreme Court. Uh, that's a one. I could have pulled in there, actually. Shame if I would have caught that one minute earlier, I would have uh, pulled in there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that. So I'm gonna head and start heading home, guys. We have a. Uh, we have about a five, five hour drive home. Um, but yeah, Ottawa is cool. Quick stop today. With the fry, the freaking hot chicken, the Nashville hot chicken was great. And uh, yeah, that's about that guys. So thank you again for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. By the way, you guys rock. Have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.